<laughs> so you, you started at Prince Ibaha as a student at the kids' class. He made it all the way to the Black Belt. I always participated in everything, uh, competition, uh, classes, traveling for seminars. And uh, when we started structuring that uh, department of the gear that was so important for the reasons he will share with us here today, he was the person chosen to do so. And uh, it was not someone that had a background in, in, in gear factories or anything like that. It was someone from inside, grown on the mats, because we thought the mindset that you had uh, uh, to perform that job was the right one to be aligned with every, everything we do inside the mats. Okay? So here is Phil Peel. <laughs> Thank you, Marcio, for the introduction. It's actually part of my speech, so you have helped me out already. And uh, thank you all for the opportunity to let me share a few words here today. Uh, like Marcio is saying, uh, on late 2002, I was already a system instructor, I was a competitor, and I started as a student, like most of you here. And I was given the opportunity to start the clothing division of Grace Barra. And less than one year later, the first uh, official Grace Barra uniform was created. And a lot of people ask us, why official uniform? Especially back then, why official uniform? What's the reason? What's the purpose behind it? And you can see, I don't know if you had a chance to to take a look at the instructor's handbook, but there is a list there of topics, of the reasons we, we did it. And they are very, very, very important. Uh, I have a few of them here. The uniform uh, tell who you are. It does uh, uh, show a positive learning environment for our students. It shows that we are organized, very similar to the concept that we have the curriculum, the teaching methods, the class instructor, but and also, a lot of organizations, private companies, sport clubs, and uh, educational institutions have been using uniforms for over centuries. But instead of going deeply into each one of these topics, I'd rather share with you a story with Pastor Carlos, uh, Professor Marcio, and I, while we were developing uh, the uniform. I believe listening to this story will help you understand why we care so much for that piece of fabric. And I will read it. I have it typed in my computer since 2003. I want to make sure I read it so I don't want to miss uh, any details. That was July 2003. We were in Barra da Tijuca, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And after Marcio and I spent several hours in the computer putting some drafts and scraps about what the official principal uniform would look like, uh, we had a supplier manufacturing a few samples for us and we scheduled a meeting with Mr. Carlos at his home. After a few minutes looking to the uniform, Mr. Carlos looked to us and said, Guys, I really like the information you have showing on the sample. I just don't think it's the ideal yet. And Marcel and I asked him, But why, Mr. What would you like to see on the uniform that is not uh, uh, there yet? And he said, well, first, let's change the color of the logo to red. For the ones that don't know, our logo, our shield, used to be white with the red G. And he said, I want red because it has to do with the heart, passion, and love. All of my fighters fight with the heart. They all train with passion, and they all love our family, our team. And, my, and Master Carlo continued, second, let's make the patches bigger. I want people from every corner of the gymnasium to be able to see our uniform, to recognize it, to know that right there, wearing the uniform, stands a GB team member carrying our mentality, carrying our philosophy, and carrying on our values. One day, we'll be all around the globe. And whenever people see the Gracie Barra uniform with the red shield on it, they will know exactly what to expect. 
it will be an honor to wear the uniform with the red shield representing the generations of the students, competitors, professors, and great Sibaha leaders that have been giving their best to keep our legacy alive. Of course, Marcia and I made the changes requested by Mr. Carlos, but more than that, his words really inspired us and myself, and I was able to understand how I could help Grace Barra beyond teaching classes, which I love to do. And today, uh, GBWare is in five uh, different countries with a group of people working hard to serve and support our schools, our students providing wearable items. <clears throat> and I hope that the story I share with you today will uh, illustrate well one of the main reasons why we have the uniform in the first class. Thank you.